This video was part two of the stump grinder. <clears throat> uh, since the last video, I got my hydraulic fittings and hoses all hooked up. I got those valves fixed up with my levers, like I discussed. There's Morse cable on here. Got that made. The levers out of aluminum. And I got a chain on it supporting it just to keep it up off the ground. But there's the stainless steel cover. Uh, that's the wheel simulator just for the diameter of the wheel plus the teeth on it. Should be that diameter. I still have a bolt right here that I'm going to cut the cover back so it'll flit up tight. <clears throat> but that should keep most of the debris. It's actually 18 gauge uh, stainless steel that I'd had that we rolled and made it. Now, <clears throat> here's the levers. I guess I had a little bit too much time on my hands, but I machined these out of 6061 T6 aluminum. This is three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, done a little ball milling back there. I just made it where it all bolted together. Got these little hemispherical or Heinz joints, some people call them, rod ends. They go here. I got a roller bearing, sealed bearing in, inside of this cover. And these handles was just some raw stock aluminum uh, that a friend had had. He makes works at a company that makes stove parts, refrigerators and stove. And these is actually aluminum handles on a side-by-side -side refrigerator. They had some that was bent or, or whatnot, so instead of throwing them in a dumpster, he brought them to me. So I turned them down, threaded it, stuck it in a lathe, threaded it back, just goofed off more or less. Cut the center out, and then I got pretty bored about the ball handles on it. Didn't really know what to do or how to make it, but they move very silky. <clears throat> and when I sat on this, I was planning on mounting it just on the fender and let the cables do everything when the three-point hitch raises. Uh, set the top link right, it raises completely up just for transport. I'll uh, <clears throat> lift it to transport it, and then it'll, it'll go all right, then won't be in your way. But I got carried away on it, and we're fixing to have to hook it up to the tractor pressure and return line. <clears throat> this little tractor does not have a add-on hydraulic uh, for this, so there's just no room. There's so much stuff in there. That's why I've done that. This is the only implement that I have that requires hydraulics. So that's just why I put the control valve right on the machine. And uh, what's powering it <clears throat> is a Yanmar 1510 two-wheel drive a little small tractor uh, it's probably on the smaller end to be driving the stump grinder but that's why I made the stump grinder <clears throat> after looking at other people's and horsepower requirements to a lesser horsepower requirement and I kind of put all of those together and come up with my version of it <clears throat> just I've got two to three hundred stumps to grind. It's not feasible. Stump grinding companies, you're looking at three, four thousand dollars to grind a stump when it's winter time. So we got the spring to get it done. <clears throat> so why not just gather up all the parts and make one? It's kind of a, an adventure anyway. But most of the parts come just right off eBay, whatever you can find cheap. A 45 horsepower gearbox, slip clutch, the drive shaft, <clears throat> The cylinders are two and a half inch bore, 18 inch stroke on the top, 20 on the bottom. The hoses, fittings and stuff like that, just spend time finding it. And all the rest of it is just metal that I've had laying around. Uh, just just kind of stored up as you can see that the, all of the stuff gets laid around. <clears throat> but back to the tractor. <clears throat> the wheel of these, if anybody owns a little Yanmar, they usually have rice paddy tires on them. <clears throat> There's a big thing on like tractor by net and stuff that you can find about wheels for your Yanmar. 
but I got all of this together which is probably another video in itself I'm real pleased with these R4 tires got rid of the rice paddy tires as long as it's not really muddy these are a whole lot better tracks it doesn't tear your turf up a lot more stable on heels and for that conversion from your Yanmar uh, you're probably I've got mm, probably $800 in the tires having hay wheel machine company make the wheels for me and I painted them and put a counterweight in them and come off of a machine where I work <clears throat> which worked out lovely all I did was bore two holes in it slid it in there it weighs 98 pounds that cast iron <clears throat> I've got liquid filled in the tire. Each tire is probably close to 350 pounds. I mean, this little tractor gets all kind of traction. So, uh, <clears throat> that's where we are on the update of the stump grinder. I guess the next thing is to take the wheel, start doing all the machining to it. I've got a piece of three quarter inch plate that I've got to burn the circle out of. <clears throat> and let me get the Here's the teeth, they were bought off of eBay, off of Rayco. Stump grinder, I had to resharpen them. But I've got a lot more than I ever need for half as much as what they cost. I just had to resharpen them. And I still gotta determine and make the wheel and all that. It's been a pretty good project, but I'm probably at <clears throat> close to 80 hours in <clears throat> what I have done here. So I guess maybe the next video will actually be the wheel. I might show some part of making the wheel, the cutting, the cutting wheel for it, the teeth and all. But uh, maybe by then I'll, I'll do a photo. And if anybody would like to see some more about a Yanmar, just message me on it. And maybe I'll do a video about pricing and where to get stuff and what size these wheels are and all. But till then, have a good one.